Hello, Covenant Bay campers. Uh, welcome back to this place. Again, my name is Braden. Um, I am here at Covenant Bay as the program director, and I'm so excited again to be meeting you in this place. So this week we've titled what these meetings are going to be, and we've called them The Block. Basically, that means for me, that's a place that we can meet kind of on the block, you know, somewhere we, where we can gather, we can share information, um, and get to know each other a little bit better. So we're going to jump right into it. This week, we're going to be talking about communication with God, what that looks like, how we can communicate with God, and we're going to delve into a few different things in that area. Today, specifically, we're going to be talking about honesty with God. Now, I've noticed a little interesting phenomenon or... or um, pattern since all of this virus and COVID-19 has been going on. So when speaking with friends or family, I often like to ask individuals how they're doing. And I would probably say 60% of the time I don't always get a true response into how their day is going or how they're doing in that moment. But now with all of this going on, I've actually noticed a much more honest answer which I've really been enjoying because I appreciate when the people that I love answer truthfully to me. And it's not that the before they're trying to hide something, it's just maybe they don't have time or, or they feel like it's too much of a burden to let go or, or too much to entrust me with. And that's okay. But I do appreciate the honesty that's been coming out in these times. My understanding is that in this time of isolation, us as humans, us as God's creation are craving the interaction that we were built for, the communication, the friendship, the love, all of that. And, and now we're actually allowing ourselves to engage in a more genuine interaction than we may have before. So perhaps this is, you know, suddenly because we find ourselves isolated and, and we're really needing that heart to heart connection, you know, or our day to day seems like we're further away from people than we possibly were before. But whatever the reason, I think we have to consider this question specifically in this time. Now, if we're, if we're allowing ourselves to be more vulnerable and honest with other people, are we doing the same with our relationship with God? Now, I've noticed that I too have been answering in a more honest way. I've been having more in-depth conversations with friends and family and really enjoying that. But I had to consider the other day if I've actually been applying that to God. I think sometimes my tendency in times like this is actually just to retreat and, and to have less communication with God than I may have previous. I think this answer is obviously different depending on who we are and where we're at in our relationship. You know, what our relationship is, is with God in any given moment. But for communication, it's so important. We, we know that any friendship or relationship, you know, people we care about, that we have to speak to them back and forth. We have to actually interact with them to have a healthy relationship. So I've realized in the last little while that in times like this and in isolation, we seek out communication with other people. We seek out relationship. God's designed us that way and, and wants us to live in community, to live with individuals of our church, of our Christian community, our family, our friends, all of that. We're designed to not do this alone. Specifically, we're designed to do this with him. For me, I realized this about God, is that it's actually easier for me to just give him everything than it is to specifically set out times for him. So I know I've been encouraged in the past to set aside an hour or 20 minutes or five minutes at the end of the day, whatever it is to spend time with God. But I actually find myself forgetting or, or being too tired or jumping into something else before I ever get that time. And so what I've learned to do is seek him in, in everything. Because he doesn't just want to know a part of us or the, the last five minutes of our day. He wants to know us all. 
And he, he, he already deeply has defined us and created us. But it's that communication piece that he also longs for. For us to respond to him in a way that is communication built and relationship, um, you know, forming those relationships. So just as I ask a friend how they are doing, and I expect and, and want an honest answer, God is asking us the same. And he expects the honest answer out of us as well. I'm going to read a psalm here. Psalm 1914. It says this, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. I think that's a great reminder just to have the words that we speak and the thoughts that we have and the, and the desires of our heart direct us towards God, towards a relationship with him. Simply, as I continue to think about this in the meditations of my heart, I am reminded to dwell on thoughts of him, to dwell on thoughts of God, how he is in the scenario, how he walks with us, how he desires that relationship, that communication. Lastly, a small challenge for you this week. As we continue to speak about these things and, and, and build our online video database and, and talk to you guys, I want to hear from you in things that you are interested in. I want to hear how I can be helping you, how we can create videos that maybe answers a question or two that you have. So let us know whether that's on our Facebook page or in the comments below. Get a hold of us. Let us know what you want to hear and how we can best serve you. Now I'm going to pray as we do in chapel, and that's just a nice five counting backwards. So we go five, four, three, two, one, pray. Dear Lord, I thank you so much that you are a relational God, that you not only created us, but intended us to live in community. God, I thank you for this time that we get to spend today with you. And even as we feel apart, God, I thank you that you bring us together. And in Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I look forward to continuing this conversation on Thursday. God bless and take care.